Hello and welcome to the Bearded Hobby Homestead. I'm Cor. I'm Leah. And we have seen this video online um, about the leftover challenge. Yes. It basically boils down to um, people, especially in America, that's where this is. this came from, uh, chefs and fast food workers losing their jobs and they have actually set up a donation account that we cannot replicate this side because we're in South Africa that's mainly for Americans so we decided to just help raise awareness and I'm adding their video here Restaurant workers have always been there for us. They've worked long hours. They've worked late nights. They've worked holidays away from their families. All to make sure that we're happy and fed. Now it's time to repay the favor. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, millions of restaurant workers have either lost their jobs or had their hours drastically cut. And as dining rooms across the country shutter, takeout and delivery are the last remaining lifelines for many beloved restaurants. So here's our challenge to you. Yes, you. The one in front of the screen. With the hair and the shirt. Lucky bastard. If you can afford it, order more food than you can eat in one meal from your favorite restaurant. Put those leftovers in the fridge and make the most creative dish possible with them the next day. Take a picture, post it to social media with hashtag leftovers challenge and urge your followers to do the same. We've all gathered together to cook with leftovers from our favorite restaurants to give you a few ideas. And click that donate button to give directly to the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. Your money will go towards direct worker relief, nonprofits supporting the restaurant industry, and zero interest loans for restaurants to start back up again. Why are we still here? Let's cook something, yeah? All right, so now that you know more about what that's going on, um, I'm gonna add the information in the link down below in the description here, and so forth. Um, okay, so we are doing the leftover challenge. I am saying we because we're married <laughs> and that makes us a team and therefore whatever she does I do. <clears throat> uh -huh. hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play cameraman and make sure everything runs smoothly and then she will tell you more about what's happening in this video right here. Alright guys, so basically all that the leftover challenge is is in America you can still buy fast food and then your leftovers you make something completely different with. In South Africa unfortunately the lockdown is so strict that all the fast food, all the restaurants, everything is closed. So no fast food leftovers for us unfortunately. But we are taking a few leftovers from a few dinners in the last two days. Well the last well meals in the last two days. So over here we have some nice chippies from lunch. French fries. French fries. And we have mushrooms and onions over here from pizza we made two nights ago that I made way too much toppings for. And over here we have some breaded chicken that I'm going to debone. And basically we're going to do loaded fries. So we have the fries, we're going to put all the toppings on top, grate some cheese over, pop it in the oven until the cheese is all nice and gooey and melted. And we are going to have a nice cheap dinner that we basically already paid for. So. First, I'm going to debone this chicken, and that's going to take a while. And there's the shredded chicken, so we're just going to be sprinkling that over the chippies, over the fries. When that's done, I'll give you a close-up. I've got a really long arm. <laughs> yeah, it even looks longer on the camera now. <laughs> but look at that. So there's some fries and uh, oven chicken mixed up and shredded now the mushroom and onion mixture is going same situation different flavors mm -hmm. if you don't have the fries this will also work really nicely with the tortilla chips yes tortilla chips will make this something different. I don't think it's going to be the same as loaded fries though. But that's going to be 
that basically makes it a um, uh, nachos with different flavors. Nacho, <laughs> a chicken nachos. Yes. Okay, so now here goes two types of cheese. Number one is a, a cheddar. This is a cheddar cheese. Yes. Just do a little grating over the top because that will be great. <laughs> <laughs> Lame joke. Yes, I'm a dad. Dad joke. Dad joke. Next up, we have another cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. Watch your nails. Mm -hmm. And that's looking rather delicious as it is. Alright, some spices if you like. The chips. Uh, already salted the mushrooms and onions also already had some salt in them and, and um, the chicken the, the the mushrooms also tip uh, mushroom and onion mix, onion mix had uh, was made with uh, garlic butter mm -hmm. proper proper butter that I mixed garlic in with and it's been standing around for about a week so it's properly infused mm-hmm alrighty just some normal steakhouse barbecue seasoning there you go so Woolworths food It's not actually the brand. Just a little bit of sprinkling and a little bit of dry garlic. Because why not? And a little bit of sweet chili flakes. And that is my motto in life. I love sweet chili. So yeah. Ah. Then we are going to pop it in the oven until the cheese is all gooey and melty. And we're gonna have a nice dinner. And there we have it. Yum 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 yum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lots of yum yum yummy. Alright, this is my cue to get up and go and have a little bite of that. Okay, so this is going to be amazing. Let's do the taste test. It's hot. It is hot, indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. You can add any sauce you like to this. Ketchup, ranch, mayo, ranch be good. hot sauce. I'll be supplementing this one with a little bit of a homemade chili sauce. Mm. And um, yes, mm. this is good. Challenge accepted and challenge overcome. Mm. So please people, if you like seeing more of this content, let us know down below. Also, go check out all the pages down below that we um, I'm adding, uh, all those uh, channels. Mm -hmm. And um, if you can, if you're in America, please go check it out. If you can donate, just order meals online. That way, still supporting the companies. And um, I'm going to go finish this. And you have a fantastic and great and awesome and blessed and fun day. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Bye.